Your mm. father and your mother are fighting. What can you do? Father and mother fighting, fighting. and mm. you as a child. Yeah. What can you do? And you keep in, keeping in mind, mm -hmm. I've been raised by single, single mom. mom. Yes. So you need to think fast. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you go like this, you're, you're out of the sure of the of the, of the interview. What did you answer? Yes. Blessings. Blessings comes from the father. Ata kwe maskini, akwe tajiri, akwe mkongwe, is still your father. Yes. Na baba ya mtu haizi kukubariki. Your father will always bless you. Yeah, keep that in mind. Baba ya mtu haizi kukubariki. While you were away, your friend, the Lady Justice Mata Koome, declared a new president, the hustler, now the fifth. How does it make you feel? Yeah. Yes. Okay, first of all, it makes me feel that there is a place of a woman in the society. Yes. is respected to announce the the president of Kenya yes we are coming from community where a woman is has no place in the society yes. but yes come this one I, it makes it encourages me more and it makes me to work more harder yes. and harder to reach yes. her place you will be talking us through a lot today uh, Rosemary mm. are you ready yeah I'm very much ready why do you find it necessary that you have to share your story with us. It's good for me because I think it will inspire there's someone who was like me, who is like me in the society now. He or she don't know what to do. So when my story will touch him or her to get on pressing and moving on. And finally, I know God will do something. I am Shadrach and on show with me uh, is the simplest definition of the real African queen, the calmness, the royalty. Talk about being blessed all round, both in soul and in brains. I never understood the real power and zeal to life that lies in a girl child until the day I sat down with Rosemary. Rosemary, Karibu Kenya Tena. How has life been like in Germany? Life has been, has no longer been the same. Yes. Since I went to Germany with the mentality, Kenyan mentality. Yes. I think I've been growing where people, they use, I've been lazing around. Yes. But going to Germany, I've found friends mm -hmm. who are very hardworking. I've been interacting with new culture. Yes. The new people. Climate. The food. The food. Yeah. Kenya tunakunywa breakfast. Uko tunakula na tunakunywa. The difference? <laughs> they believe in having the breakfast start it's the beginning of your meal. Yes. So you must you are you need to be strong you the entire day. day. Yes. So you need to eat a lot. You have to eat well. Yeah. Sio sisi unaonja tu ukikimbia ama unakula ukitembea. Hapana, unachafua meza. Unachafua meza sawa sawa. 
How do they say good morning? Good morning, it's guten morgen. Guten morgen. Yeah. Good morning, guten morgen. Guten morgen. Mm -hmm. Afternoon. This morning, this afternoon. Yes. And this evening. Afternoon, mm -hmm. it's guten tag. Guten tag. Mm -hmm. I understand tag means day. day. Yeah. So, guten, it's good. Good day. Good day. They wish you a good day. Guten Abend. Good Abend. Good evening. Good evening. So I've learned something here. Mm -hmm. Morning is Guten Morgen. Yeah. That's good morning. Mm -hmm. Afternoon, guten, guten Tag. tag. Mm -hmm. That's good day. Yeah. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Guten. Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Abend. Now, good. good evening. evening. Then good night. The good night. It's good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. And hello. Hello is hello still. Hello is hello. hello. Just hello. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Hi. Hello or hi. Amazing. Yeah. First of all, sikukula. Nilishiba tu throughout. How many months? For the first day <laughs> during flight. A yes. day before the flight. Yes. Take a flight. Uh -huh. I just felt full. Usingizi kuji. Then comes a day. Then comes the day. Yeah. The preparation for me it was a bit confusing. Yes. Because pia ata siku kona bag ya kutravel. Ata travel in bag to kia kia kona. So you are trying to put together a lot of stuff. Yeah. Because mama kona pesa kunua bag. The clothes siku kona yo sijibia kuenda maju. So it was a bit challenging for me. Yes, and then the other preparations, visa, nini. The visa cards were ready. Yes. The embassy, ilikuwe meshugulikia, passport was ready. Yes. The flight ticket was ready. But yes. But I thank God. Yes. Things came into place. You stopped worrying and then things just fell in place the way they are supposed to. Yeah. While you were away, you were friend, the Lady Justice Martha Koome declared a new president, mm -hmm. the hustler, mm -hmm. now the fifth. Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel? It makes Your friend. Yeah. Yes. Okay, first of all, it makes me feel that there is a place of a woman in the society. Yes. A woman is respected to announce the, the president of Kenya. Yes. We are coming from a community where a woman is has no place in the society, yes. but yes. come this one, I, it makes it encourages me more, and it makes me to work more harder yes. and harder to reach yes. her place. Yeah, to reach her status. Her and then there's something that you talked about, how she is so powerful, yet she is so humble. Yeah, looking at her, just so humble. Very humble. How yeah. does it make you feel? First of all, I believe in being humble, it doesn't make you feel inferior. Yes. Yeah. Unyekevu, itakupeleka maali ambapo hata people cannot take you. Being humble, it's very key. Being humble and it's, understanding yourself. Yeah, it's very key. Yes. Yeah, and it really motivates me and encourages me how that lady is very humble. Yes. And how she dedicates herself to the service yeah. at hand. Yeah. Wewe na Lady Justice muna jikuta mumeka the same, same place, same place mm -hmm. waiting for the same opportunity. Mm -hmm. Let me touch on this. Yes. I'm coming from a very poor background. Yes. You say humble background. Humble background. Yes. But this a thing that says Education is an equalizer. Education is an equalizer. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. So I went to embassy, Nairobi, German embassy in Nairobi. I found myself. I I was I I went to to be interviewed, for me to get a visa. Yes. So she was the one who was going to. The first one to be interviewed. To be served, yes. To be served, yeah. Yes. Then me. Yes. So she was sitting next to me. I did not I did not know she's the the chief justice. Yes. Chief Justice, yes. 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 
but when I saw the paper, I just looked at and she ran. Mm -hmm. Then I saw the she's the lady justice, yes. and it makes me very shocked yes. about it. And I believed in from that day. I believe that the saying that says education is an equalizer. Education is an equalizer. Mm -hmm. So in essence, there's a, a great importance for people going to school, educating the children, mm -hmm. educating the girl child, mm -hmm. educating the boy child, yeah. because you never know mm -hmm. who you will meet in the future. Very true. Uh, who is Rosemary? Rosemary is an African girl yes. coming from Western, but I've lived in Nakuru. Parents, my parents separated while I was very young, around five years old. Mm -hmm. Sorry so for that. Yeah. I've been living with my mom, my mom at Wakibarua, and a fulia mama nguo, and mama kibarua, hasol kidogo kidogo, yalete kitu kidogo, ameza tukule. So, I'm not coming from a very stable background. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where did you go to school? I went to Ronda Primary. Ronda Primary. Mm -hmm. Now it's called Kibuen Komen. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So Ronda Primary, mm -hmm. uh, Kibuen Komen. Komen. Yeah. For the past eight years, yes. I managed to obtain 332 marks. Yes. I went to Langalanga. High school. High school, yes. Sir. Of which? Nakuru. Nakuru. Yes. I got a C, C, C minus of 39, 39 point. It remained one point to get to a C plane. C, a C plane, yes. Yeah. Then I was no, I was very depressed mm -hmm. about the grades, but I had that resilience yes. and persistence. To soldier on. Yeah. I did not give up on that. Yes, and then I decided to, 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 to redo my KCSC to do again, to repeat, uh -huh. but I repeated on St. Mary's Girls. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you sat for your KCSE, mm -hmm. you achieved a mini grade of C minus, C minus. not satisfied, not satisfied. you reset again, mm -hmm. never giving up. Never giving up. Yes. Then I went to St. Mary's, still. I did my KCSC. I got a C, C stand of 45 points, yes. of which one grade to another grade. Just a little grade? It to a C plus. To a C plus. Yeah. So you took up from there? Yeah. And I you did not give up. So you are satisfied with uh, I was that C? I satisfied, yeah. OK. You talked about uh, being brought up by now a single mother. What happened to your father? It's very unfortunate because when I was around five years old, my dad, he got mad. Alko Azimu. If you too? Alko Azimu. Uh, I don't recall this because, because you are, I was you are young. young. Yes, yeah. yes. Things worsened and it's very tough. Then mom decided to leave Uvihiga. Mm -hmm. Then Akakuja Kwandubiake Nakuru. That's where we have been brought up. Up to now, I'm 24 years old. What about the father? We were very rich before. Yes. He was working in telecom company. Here in Nakuru? Nairobi. Nairobi. Kisarian. We were living in Kisarian. Okay. So we were very, we had very stable background. But when it comes, the brain is, the, the head is not okay. Things go out of place. Terminated. Then, yeah. Was terminated and so went home. Yes. Yeah, so he, the, the, the company, Wakampeleka hospitali, nothing is coming in place. Akabidi yaende ukuivu, mbani. Do you really miss that warmth of a father? Whenever you, yeah. you used to hear other children mm -hmm. praising their fathers. Yeah, it has been a very painful story because nkiwa shule around class one, two, three, four. I hear someone saying, daddy, mom, daddy, Daddy wangu wa mikuja na hii, baba wangu nafanya hivi. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel lonely and very desperate. So you say today, uh, baba hajielewi kabisa? Hajielewi, mm -hmm. but... Pole sana. And how is your mother doing? My mom is now is doing what she's now, as I'm talking now, mm -hmm. she's very happy, very happy. Yes. She don't sleep. She usually prays and very happy, 
because he has been suffering a lot and alikuwa ananiambia akwa imagine kama mtoto wake ataipanda ndege akwa imagine kama mtoto wake ataifika europe mm akwa imagine kama akwa imagine anything she was just wacha nijaribu hii nipate ya kukula yeah just to survive for the yeah, day like in the i remember the the woman in, the woman in the bible yes the the the, the one that alikuwa anasema tu was it prophet elijah yeah i ni kule ya mwisho i only have left yeah, with left uh, yeah something small there yeah. mm. that's how we have been living before anasema niko na yunga mm acha tukule mungu kesho atashughulikia atashughulikia mm-hmm. that's how we have been surviving and i know you can understand it maybe unaamka breakfast is a problem you have kids who are watching on you wewe ndio baba wewe ndio mama ali being a woman au juu kama utenda kibaruo kose ama upate these days um, our young ladies even boys uh whenever there are triggers a small or the slightest provocation to life one becomes frustrated and opts for drugs or even for early marriages for the case of ladies mm-hmm. were you at one time tempted to give up in life they think that i thank god because there is a friend of mine who shared me who, we were who, which we i was talking with mm-hmm. and she was going through a lot then i said and she managed it in life yes so that's that's what kept on motivating me because and i end up in the end up say my tomorrow i will not give up today because mm-hmm. my to, my tomorrow is when god m- might bless me yes so i kept striving yeah, day I, by day yeah i kept on imagining and believing that my tomorrow is going to be greater is, is going to be greater and m- maybe i might give up i may i might give up today yes. but tomorrow is what, what is, is when god is going to bless me so that's what kept on encouraging me to move to forward move, to move to move forward yes. towards tomorrow yeah and now tomorrow is today tomorrow is today and it's amazing very amazing <laughs> so any lady who wants to give up in life um, what's your advice don't give up because you might give up tomorrow today and tomorrow is when god god is planning to to bless you don't give up today because tomorrow is it might be the day your day of blessing yes. so keep on and move forward towards that tomorrow because your blessing might be there might be there yeah. keep on soldiering mm-hmm. because you don't know what tomorrow may bring and never give up in and life never give up in life mm-hmm. that's what we were born to be yeah there's a lesson uh, something you shared about your father and you are so um, comfortable sharing the state of your father and uh, it really moved me i don't know if you're still comfortable because uh, there are people out there for reasons best known to them some will say i don't want to see my father because uh, he hates my mother mm-hmm. others still will say i'm um, I can't show my father to the public because we are he is poor. Mm-hmm. But here you are, you are confident. Yeah. You can go home and hold your father's hand mm-hmm. and, walk and walk with him. With him. Yes. Tell us something. Yes. First of all, sijawahi aibikia babangu, even my mom sijawahi muaibikia. I don't know what's wrong with me but Nothing been, is wrong with you Rosemary <laughs> because many people have been afraid of their mother because yes. maybe mama yako ameungua uso maybe mama yako ni, ni maskini ana nguo nzuri but I've never been af- sijawahi muibikia mzazi wangu because I remember one scenario when I had to apply my passport to go to Germany yes my mom akona passport application you have to you need to have 
two copies of ID, yeah. three copies of ID. Yours, your father's, your, father and your, mother. your mother's, yes. Mimi niko na yangu, niko na mama yangu, but ya mama yangu, ya babangu hakuna. So ilipotea. And but the and the Huduma Huduma Center? Yes. Huduma Center they want the, the three, three three IDs yes. and the birth certificate. Birth certificate? No. They birth certificates is yours yeah. which is required, yes. Yeah. So nikapata birth certificate nini ID ya mama yangu ya baba ikakuwa problem so nikashanga this a golden opportunity nipata can i let it go no i need to look for my father to bring it to bring to bring him to duma center yes to to to, to for him to, uduma center ilikuwa nataka kuchukua uso wake yeah the face yes the face yes then wanini wakishachukua face yake to redo, one, to the, redo the id the id yes. to renew the id yes so i got i found myself going to to look for my dad and fortunately fortunately i found him kumpata hakuna attack hata kuvanga kiatu barefooted you can understand the situation of a madman yes and anapenda kiyo nguo yake na najua iko mzuri tu ataki kuvaa kiatu trousers yake ni mbaya mbaya huko chini na nchafu na pia the scent is mm. not okay mm. so i found myself aka, nikapanda pikipiki akapanda pikipiki same pikipiki mm. si tulishia same pikipiki yes. na yeye nimepanda yakapanda tukaenda mpaka kwa bus nini kwa kwa stage yes tukachukua gari from Luanda to Tumbali wewe na baba yako mimi na baba yangu in his situation a madman yes na nywele unajua mwendo wazimu tu nywele mwendo wazimu iko tu mbaya mbaya but i was not af- afraid i was not embarrassed of him we went to duma center to kill some people were running away from him but they wondered why i was wearing okay i was very yes okay and my clothes were very smart but i was just near him people were just wondering is this girl okay but sikwa hii moibikia up to nikafikiwa nika nikaona mtu wa huduma center nataka kumharass but i stood there kamwambia this is my father uh, talking in english very fluent hmm. kamwambia this is my father and amepoteza nika nika nikasema nikamwongelea then so people were just happy about about me and they yeah, were just, just an amazing they were yes. just humbled then they they heard that I'm going to Germany they served him very fast najua Kenya kama uko na pesa yes una unashughulikiwa unashughulikiwa mbio mbio but but si kwa nayo kizungu tu kidogo tu na na dressing pia ilikuwa mzuri na then uh, you are honest heart you yeah. were there with your father yeah very in his condition him. yes because and uh, wanajaribu kumwambia aka fingerprints za left aju left ni gani so i, I try to to place That's his fingerprints to 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 assist him in the hand i i, I helped him na pia kulikuwa na shida kidogo mm. hizi mkono imekuwa kuna vinyo uchafu iko yes. so machine cannot detect the fingerprints so yes. i helped him and there is a man who was very moved with him with me about the the heart yes of not kuibikia mzazi not being ashamed of your father whatsoever the situation yes and i am, i feel very proud but i am very sad for <laughs> some people who are afraid of their parents and it makes me very crushed and very very sad what did you see in your father that you can't find in any other person because mtu angeenda achukue mti yote tu aseme kwamba why can't you be my father mm-hmm. yeah wacha nitumie your documents yeah. you opted to go look for your father why yes it's not all about documents but it's about the blood the blood is thicker than water baba yako ni baba yako blessings mm-hmm. yeah hata kama ni ule mbaya hata kama ni, ma- ni maskini hata kama ni wazimu still remain your father because hata ningetafuta mtu mwenye kona suti aizi kwa babangu he can't it he cannot be So I just love the man the way he is because he and I mean later in dunia without him and na na believe pia baba ya mtu haizi kukubariki yes so your blessings 
comes from the Father. From the Father. My ways have been going through smoothly. Because some people, I was to come to, I went to interview. The interview that we were selected in my school, I was the first person to enter in interview room. And interview, you don't know what the question is. Yes. You are just there, blindly going there. But the man was, the man was interviewed, he was, is an Ethiopian man mm-hmm. came in, come to interview us in my school. So I went there knowing nothing, but still I emerged the best, best student. Knowing that you are blessed. By, by, by my dad. By the father. Yes, because, yeah. Pia, it's just amazing. Because even though my dad is not providing for me, people have been providing for me. Yes. So, so far, the Church of Christadelphia. Yes. They are very, they were, they are very amazing people there. Christadelphian Bible Mission. A Christadelphian Bible Mission. Yes. I do lack anything. That's why I'm saying my my ways have been moving smoothly. I lack anything. Your story is so touching and um, it's so encouraging, especially to those who want to give up in life and uh, coming back uh, Rosemary will be sharing a little bit of her life after high school okay welcome back to Jenga Kenya TV Uh, this is Inspire Kenya again Rosemary herself Rosemary um, rewinding a little bit after high school, what were you doing before you joined college? Okay, after high school, I applied coops and I kachaguliwa kwenye shule Bukura College. Yes. Yes. Nikaona fee structure is. Yes. Then I was just crushed because other but ten thousand kwa mama ningumu kupata, so it drove me to to go. Nilifanya house help for two months. House girl, house your cars, yes. 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 Nikanua brief briefcase, the E2 one, was it 1200? 1200? Mm-hmm. Nikanua briefcase, nikanua matandiko. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kitanda. Ya kitanda ya kwenda college. Yes. Then, uyo mama kavutu wakazi juu ya corona. Mm-hmm. So, she, the woman had to, to come to the home to, to do the work of the Ile kazi sasa wewe uko unafanya she, she took up yeah. uh, herself. Yeah. During that corona time kukaa nyumbani maybe mama anaenda kibarua party anything so it makes it made me to 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 wake up out of my sleeping zone. Nikaamua wacha yes. niende town nasikia mama anauza melon na mananasi and they are getting a small amount. Mm-hmm. So I just as a little girl I went to town na nunua watermelon ya 200 shillings mm-hmm. na mananasi ya 100 shillings yes i come walking from town foot and the bucket is very heavy yes you sell from to people to garages challenging challenges were there yeah 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 you say hello to someone he Some, doesn't want to someone is not responding na pia si ni binadamu mtu akikufanyia hivyo you feel it you feel down. You feel, you feel like you are crushed. Yes. But I did not give up. By that time, I, I used to say, to tell myself, myself, I, know, I don't know what my future holds, mm-hmm. but I know who holds my future. God. Mm-hmm. Yes. God holds my future. So, say, I don't know who, hold, who I don't know what my future holds, yes. but I know who holds There's it. There's someone... Mm-hmm taking care of it and he has good god has good plans for us yes the book that kept on encouraging me is jeremiah yes for i know the plans i have for you mm-hmm. definitely babako is kutake mbaya obvious mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. but the bible says for i know the plans i have for you mm-hmm. declare the almighty yes the plans to give you hope and bright future hope and bright and future. bright future so 
that's what keeps on motivating sometimes namka umechoka you don't have want to 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 go to to town kuza watermelon because can you experience jana it was tough it puts you down mm-hmm. yes sometimes unaingia kwa plot it was corona period mm-hmm. so people, someone says no very sensitive mm, yes corona no some now to to nuiza mananasi mm. sometimes unauza piece moja peke yake so the rest melon ni kangi sana ina ina ferment yes. yeah yeah so i i take koploti na pena na pena na deni yote 26 pieces 20 pieces mm. kesho kudai upewe pesa maybe so so the following day you come to to a plot with watermelon around 10 pieces itabii tu imekuwa pia lunch queen kwa nyumba juu unakula unakula capital unakula capital unakula mbegu unakula mbegu <laughs> so uki, ukipeleka kwa majirani pia unaona ile kinywa kufanyia jana pia hawajakulipa yeah. so it was a bit challenging what do you say um, kwa wale watu wanaona wale mama wanatembea hawking around whatever they are hawking around Unaweza ambia nini? That story through the experience that you went through hawking beba ndoo ukizunguka mm-hmm. streets. It's very tough for me especially when I remember that it really crushes me. Because ina happen ukiuza vizuri ni wakati wa jua. Mm. Watermelon nakuliwa wakati wa jua. Na jua pia ikikuchapa kizunguzungu ndio hiyo. Mm. Walk kutembea na jua in a, you are not okay so these so, ladies go through a lot they go through a lot so whoever meets such lady on the way i advise you just pick at least a piece yes. that 20 shillings is very important mm-hmm. that 10 shillings is very important for her it that, changes somebody's life yeah because your 10 shillings it an nuas kuma hata kama atapika na mafuta hiyo sukuma it's very Atakula. very beneficial to that woman mm-hmm. so don't just assume that atunasema sijui ni chafu no mm-hmm. mm. because some people wako na madharau wanapita hao mama and it's very but they don't understand what the understand. ladies go through yeah they to don't. push them mm-hmm. to be on the street selling what they are selling yeah i personally i understand that it's aware of of her shoes that knows, knows where, where the shoes pinches. pinches yes yes i personally understand that hata after kutoka ujerumani tukasimama airport tukakuja na narobi yes the usaledi who was standing there i do, i think alikuwa amekosa option ya kufanya mm. so she was just standing there staring at us unajua mtu akitoka majuu mm, unaangalia mm, you just mm, wishing mm, wishing wishful wish yani oh, yeah. i wish i was the person yeah so mm. she was staring on us so i just my colleagues were very happy some of us for some of them come from very stable background mm-hmm. but i just so they don't connect they uh, don't connect the scenario yeah, yeah, but yeah. i connected very fast yes and nikaita huyo mama nikamwambia pea wote na wape mananasi na she was very happy amazing she was very happy and she went smiling siku imeisha siku imeisha what is your word to your mama mother yes your mother my mom is a very amazing person because she has never given up on us she has never given up on us because when the zazi wengine wana give up wana kunywa pombe like you're frustrated because I, nobody understand what no, goes no, on on their minds nobody understands because maybe when taka tukutoa your stress it's very tough because maybe mmefukuzwa mtoto shule you don't have anything you don't have any plans it it becomes so so discouraging akiangalia mbele akiangalia nyuma there's nothing uh, no, no hope the, the only thing is food hiyo unga na maybe ana, in her mind anasema tu like that woman in the bible she says let me eat this and we die yes so even you cannot always mwa muomba pesa tishon always muomba anything kiatu yako imeraruka by the way najua kushona kiatu mhm mama mimi wewe mhm i i went home kiatu imeraruka kabisa <laughs> i had to buy shindano na, na uzi 
Yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm expert on that. Yani problems zinafanya find ways yeah, out. Harden up. Yes. Mm -hmm. So mama an amazing figure in your life. Yeah, she's a very amazing lady. Yes. Very anatakia mtoto wake mazuri. She's very prayerful. Anaomba na mka saa 9 kuomba usiku. Just praise Christ. When mama prays, mm. God hears very the true. prayers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Men out there, um, let's bless our women. Let's pray for our girl child. Let's pray for our sisters. Let's pray for our wives. Let's pray for our mothers. And may God bless the mother mm -hmm. for us. The father too, the source of the blessings in the community, in the nation. Whenever a father stands and whenever a father prays, God listens to mm -hmm. the blessings of a father. The blessings of a father. I can't find it enough. Mm -hmm. Kuna kina mama ambao wa out of their own selfish interest, probably. Mm -hmm. Ama labda aliko sana na baba. Anazuia watoto wasiwai fikia baba yao. Mm -hmm. What's your take? Let me say it's good to to show them their father and peer to 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 show them that they, sh they need to respect this man because in science, in biology, a mother cannot give birth by herself. Yes. A, a father can, should be there for the two for two to, to give rise to this offspring. Yes. So they need to the mother needs to to show to show the kids that we the Baba and to show respect because even in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Jack, was it Jack? Jacob. 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 When, so, yeah. Isaac. Isaac, Isaac bless, blesses, wanted to bless Esau. Esau. But and, the mother mm -hmm. loved Jacob so much. So much. Yes. So the father's blessings are very, yes. Are very amazing. Are very, because Mama Pia is bariki. Is bariki. Mama. Mama. How is it bariki? A, but can facilitate, facilitate for the blessings. My mother can facilitate <laughs> the blessings. Yes. Because you see this this woman, this woman was in a position to bless this Jacob. Yes. But just anatumia tricks kidogo na mwambia vaki to fulani hapa wende baba kwa kubariki. Yeah, afikiria wewe ni Esau. Yeah, afikiria ni Esau. So the mother Because the mother understood the, the blessings, blessings comes from, from the father. Hmm? So the parents should be in this position. The mother should be in this position to to show to show the to show the kids that this is your father. You need to respect him for you to be blessed. Yes. Yes. To know Napaka, the United States of America president, mm -hmm. the former president Barack Obama, mm -hmm. coming home mm -hmm. to the grave of his, of father. his father. Yes. Mm -hmm. Baba Hayuko, but he comes home to the grave. Of the father. Of the father. Na anapo toka? Anaenda kukua senator. Anaenda kukua senator. He comes back. To the grave. To the grave of his father. To seek the blessings. To seek the blessings. He goes back. He goes back. He becomes a president. He becomes a president. Very amazing. It's just amazing. The blessings of a father. How do you say welcome back in German? It's willkommen. V. Willkommen. Willkommen. Willkommen or willkommen. 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 Welcome back to Jenga Kenya TV. Willkommen. Jenga. In Jenga Kenya TV, Kenya. Kenya is Kenya. Kenya. Okay. Willkommen. Willkommen in Kenya Jenga TV. Willkommen ya in Kenya. Kenya Jenga TV. Willkommen. 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 Welcome in Kenya, Jenga TV. Thank you so much. Karibu sana kwa Jenga Kenya TV on your inspirational channel. Dear viewers, welcome back to Inspire Kenya. Don't just watch. 
uh, like, share, and recommend. If you have already uh, subscribed, kindly recommend to your friend, and let's all um, inspire Kenya together. Share and hit that notification bell, such that whenever we download, we upload our new videos, you will always be the first to be notified. Karibu tena, Rosemary. I understand it's through college that you managed to travel to Germany. Yes. Tell us something about your college My and where do you study? My college is located in, in Kakamega County. Yes. And it's a place called Sigalagala. Do you know? Sigalagala, yes. Yes. Sigalagala Technical? Technical. Yes. From Sigalagala to my college is around 100 shillings. Uh -huh. And it's called? It's called Bukura. Bukura. Bukura Agricultural College. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bukura is well known for agriculture. Agriculture. Yes. So you go there, you start biotechnology, mm -hmm. animal production, yes. animal health, mm -hmm. extensionists, mm. and there's mo many, many courses there. Yes. Yeah. Why did you, what did you study at Bukura? Okay, I studied in diploma in animal production and mm -hmm. health management. The courses, the course that not every girl. Yeah, I was just about to ask you, why did you consider how the, that profession? Many ladies wouldn't imagine such. Okay, before I went to the college, I inquired from the friends about the, my, my main agenda is to get a job yes. so as to help my mom. Mm -hmm. There's no need to go to college or university. Okay. You come back you and start tamaking young mm -hmm. struggle, mm -hmm. that's the word. Mm -hmm. So I inquired from the friends, and most of my friends are vets or and extensionists. Okay. They are in the field of agriculture. Agriculture, yes. So they advised me correctly, and I went there doing animal production and health management. Animal yes. production and health management. Yes. So um, it's the same same uh, course that has taken you to. To Germany. Yeah, it's the same same course that yes. has taken me to Germany. Yes. And yes. Mm -hmm. What uh, was the criteria of? Um, did everybody at Bukura travel to Germany? Not everyone. Mm -hmm. They used the criteria. For example, the course that you are doing. You are grades. Of, okay. You are college grades. Mm. Mm -hmm. They so, use man, many criteria. Okay. Yes. To determine who is. Uh, who is qualified to uh, go there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's uh, the finest of the finest. How many do you? Tra how many travel to with you along with you? Okay. First of all, we were selected 50 students. Mm -hmm. 50 students. Then they selected 30 students. 50 to out of a population of. 50 out of a population of around. 5,000. 5,000 people? Yes. Uh -huh. So, 50 students out of 5,000, they couldn't make it. They couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. And you came out and one I of was, the best. Yeah, I was selected among the 50. Uh -huh. Then the interview, during the interview, I, become the, I became the best because I entered the interview room. Uh -huh. Then... I was the first person. You were the first person in the interview room? Yeah. Yes. Not knowing about the question that you are going to be asked there. Mm -hmm. So blindly going there, I, I was asked, have you ever solved any que problem? Then I, my, my mind was, yes, I have solved. There so many problems. Yes, many like, problems. Yes, yeah. They asked me, what, what will happen if your father and your, your, your brother and the neighbors are fighting? Your mm -hmm. father and your mother are fighting. What can you do? Father and mother fighting, fighting. And, and you as a child. Yeah. What can you do? And you keep in, keeping in mind, mm -hmm. I've been raised by single mom. Single mom, mom yes. So you need to think fast. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you go like this, you are out of the sure of the of the, of the interview. What did you answer? I I told them. They asked me two questions: yes. the father and the mother, yes. and the brother and the neighbor mm -hmm. about conflict resolution. Yes. So then I told them, when my mom and my father are fighting, I'm a child. Mm -hmm. I I came in the world, yeah. so I have no I have 
I, I, I can't decide on my mother's side or my father's side. You don't know where they got each other yeah, from. Yeah, I cannot solve any problem there because our nozazo na jifunika blanket moja. You don't have any. You don't have any say. Any say. If you are the person asks <laughs> the same question, you find your father and your mother quarreling or fighting. How will you do, or what will you do to bring down the temperature, or to solve the conflict in the family? What will you answer? Mm -hmm. Secondly, I was asked, you find your neighbor and, and your brother, your brother has a big volume of music, mm -hmm. and the neighbor is complaining. What can you solve? How can you solve that? I told, I told them, mm -hmm. I cannot side either my brother mm -hmm. or my my neighbor. Mm -hmm. I go there and listen from both sides, both from my brother mm -hmm. and the neighbor. Yeah. Na mm -hmm. Then you talk, you you sit with your brother yes. and tell sure. him mm -hmm. this is wrong. You need to rectify on this, mm -hmm. and the the conflict will be solved. It will be solved. Mm -hmm. And that just like that. You were through with I, the interview. I was through. The, 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 the rest of the students were asked many questions, but I was asked only two questions. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Now to the embassy. Mm -hmm. What happens there? We went to embassy. Still the first person. Mm -hmm. First everywhere. The first everywhere. Yes. So we went to interview in embassy. Mm -hmm. A group of 30 students mm -hmm. going there and not knowing what to to to, to, expect. to, be, to expect. Yes. Sitting near to next to Mother Kome. You are seated so near next to her, her her Lady Justice. Yes. Mother Kome. Yes. And then, be, my name being called there. Yes. Being asked, what are you going to do in Germany? Mm -hmm. Then my, my my answer was just Kwanda Kusoma. Then I I made it through. Visa, visa, he was given the visa. Okay, mm -hmm. you granted the visa. Yeah. Your experience seated next to her Lady Justice, Mother Kong. I, yes. I felt tall. Yes. Feel tall. Yes. And I thought, I, I, I forget to, what was in mind is education mm. is an equalizer. Education is an equalizer. Yes. It was very mm. nice experience. Nice experience. Now you've gra been granted the visa. That God has answered my prayers. Yes. And I kept on listening. I don't know what happened, but I used to, to, to listen to mm -hmm. gospel music most of the times. Yes. Thanking God, just singing, feeling good, mm -hmm. sikuli. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anxiety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the final day. The final day, siku lala yosiku. Niliamuka yosiku saa saba. Na nilikuwa nime... Nikuwa nime lalaki tukama satano. Ovuchi siku lala. I felt very good. Mm -hmm. Then the take off. Mumeka. The announcement is made, mm -hmm. and then the take off. The take off. It was a very nice experience. Up in the skies. Up in the, in the clouds. In the clouds. You feel the the, the airplane going. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. You've landed to Germany. Yes. The reception. The reception was. I was shocked about the country. Yes. It's a very green country, mm -hmm. big lands. Everything was just organized that uh, organized. when you just landed, uh, everybody, somebody was there to pick you up. Yes. Uh -huh. They picked up with the bus, with us with the bus, mm -hmm. and then we went to an hotel. Mm -hmm. In the hotel, we were accommodated with foods, mm -hmm. the beddings, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Everything was well organized. It's a very organized country. Yes. Yes. Then come the culture shock. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. yes, after being picked, we, we were taken to various farms. Mm -hmm. For example, we are going to dairy farm. Mm -hmm. Someone is going to a pig farm. Mm -hmm. Other one is going to a poultry farm. Yes. So everyone is going to is become. Uh, going to. Kuchukuliwa na 
guest family working, uh -huh. farmer working. Yes. So mine came, I, I went to a dairy farm, mm -hmm. approximately 600 cows. 600 cows. Milking cows. Yes. Milking cows and there is some calves mm -hmm. and heifers. So what were you doing on the farm? I was milking, mm -hmm. I was feeding the calves. Mm -hmm. Una, you, you look, the, if the cow is sick, mm -hmm. mastitis, something of the sort, yes. you inform the farmer, the yes. farmer calls the vet. The yeah. necessary steps are taken. Yeah, you drive the tractor, you, you cultivate the land mm -hmm. using big machines. The city. Okay, I mm -hmm. was in Ravensburg. Ravensburg. Ravensburg, at Chauvin. Okay. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a small, like urban, rural, rural area, mm -hmm. but it's very modernized. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very, very modernized. The working tools uh, in Germany, comparing to that which we use here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tools in Germany are very modernized. Mm -hmm. Very, very modernized. Uh, you say automatic? Automated, isn't it? Yeah, you don't struggle using machines mm -hmm. because Coming from Kenya, I did not know even how to drive. Mm -hmm. But going there, within two weeks, I'm really expert cultivating the land, mm -hmm. using the robots mm -hmm. to, to milk, yes. using the taxi to feed the calves. Mm -hmm. I was very, things are there, they are very modernized. Things are so amazing. Yes. Yeah, we have our leaders who every other time request for funds to go abroad mm -hmm. uh, in the name of going to benchmark mm -hmm. but uh, i've never seen any of them come back and uh, show us the sizes of the benches they went to mark mm -hmm. do you think it's the highest time that our government considered young people to go out there and do the relevant scouting and bring back the knowledge mm -hmm. instead of getting out those old men tell the government something Okay, I advise the government to to invest on this young generation mm -hmm. because this I'm not disrespecting them. Yes. But the elderly soon the Bible say your days will uta uta kufa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we need to invest in this young generation. young generation. Yes. Because they are they are energetic. Mm -hmm. They have potential mind. Mm -hmm. They, they need to, to gain knowledge and skills yes. so as to, to brighten the future, to mm -hmm. not only for the country, mm -hmm. but also for themselves. Yes. Yes. Uh, investing in the youth, mm -hmm. in the upcoming generation is very important. Mm -hmm. And that is why we also ask the government to play its role. Yeah. Instead of uh, sending the elderly only to go benchmarking, mm -hmm. send also the young ones so that they can bring back the knowledge, the knowledge. which will be of great help yes. in the development of our economy. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Uh, how do you compare the trainings at, uh, in Germany uh, to this in Kenya? Colle in colleges, that is. Did you get a time to interact with the uh, yeah, fellow young uh, college-going students? I did not get time, but I was working with a with, with a, uh, a guy from Romania. Okay. And I, I'm I'm grateful because the government of Kenya has started this something of CBC. Mm -hmm. CBC is. Yes. You learn by doing. Curriculum based. Yeah. Yes. You learn by, by doing. Yes. Learn by doing. Mm -hmm. Same, same is being implemented in Germany. Mm -hmm. You learn by doing. You don't just go to a textbook and start uh, revising how, yeah, theories. Yeah. You, you, you just study the procedure of milking. Mm -hmm. You don't, in Germany, you just, you learn the procedure of milking, then by, you do it. Do it. By doing. By mm. doing it. So, I'm a bit, I'm a, I'm a bit happy because yes. government of Kenya of CBC yes. and the one for Germany is learn by doing. Yes. Yes. So you 
um, congratulate the government for embracing the curriculum-based education. Yes, of CBC. As, yeah, as compared mm -hmm. to our 844. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Someone once uh, joked and said 844 means you have it 8, mm -hmm. then you reduce by 4, mm -hmm. and then at the end of everything you reduce by another 4. four. And when you come out, you are zero. Nothing. Mm -hmm. a, a jack of all trades <laughs> and a master of none. <laughs> But that having said that, we have great people also who have benefited from the system, 844. We really looking forward to Implement this implementing learning. this new curriculum, of curriculum learning by doing. Learning by doing. Mm -hmm. By any chance, are you hooked up? Yes. Kenya, um, uh, Germany? Hooked, hooked up. Kuna mafisi uko inje, matimu mafisi ya Not yet, but... Mm. Um, I'm looking forward to first to make my mom feel good, settle good, then nianze ku. Ndio fikirie mambo mengine. Fikirie mambo mengine. Hautaki kujifikiria kabisa kwanza. Mama yangu kwanza, then me then mambo mengine. Sasa ni Kenya utafikiria ama ni Germany? God knows. That is just by the way. Now in Germany, you've told us what you are doing. You are driving the the, the plowing tractors and yes. milking using robots and mm -hmm. big machines. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. What yes. did you bring us in terms of technology? Then? In short terms, you say education is key. When you have a small, you have the technology here. Yes. Even they take, even if they take you to Uganda. Yes. Or Tanzania. Yes. Or somewhere, you will still. You still have. Yes. You have it with you. Mm -hmm. Yes. I did not only learn the culture. Mm -hmm. But I, I learned kuhusu familia, nilisoma mm -hmm. kuhusu familia, yes. how parents should relate to their children, yes. how husband and wife should relate. Mm -hmm. I learned many things about management of the house, yes. management of the property, mm -hmm. how to make money. Yes. Yeah. And I went to, to Germany, I can say I was lazy, a bit lazy, but I was not lazy. But I found there people are really working hard to 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 obtain money yes people don't sleep i was working with an old grandma of 70 years yes his post his husband was 72 yes his son was 45 mm -hmm. and the wife of the son was 35 years old mm -hmm. two kids one two years and the other one for of seven years yes so all of them they were working and i came with that mentality that Nothing comes on a silvery plate. Yes, it's work, you work, need to work, 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 work. And in, indeed, those people are not poor. They are very, very rich. And for a reason, yeah. which is work. Yeah. With us here, we wait upon God to bring us the blessings. Mm -hmm. Germany? Germany, they believe in hard work. Not they, blessings that come not, with a... Not blessings that comes on a silvery plate. It's a blessing through work. Through work. You, you need to work. Yes. To, to get a bread. You mm. need to work. To let Kenya emulate, emulate. what they are doing. Ata kama ni kidogo, utatafuta upate. Tafuta. Tafuta tu, ata kama ni hiyo 200. Mungu anajua huyu huu, amitafuta. Mm. Wezi niambia umeamuka, ume, 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 ume umota jua, ikifika lunch time, Umeenda kupiga watu ngeta, mungu wa hizi bariki hiyo. Just toa sweti yako kidogo. Kama ni watermelon, uza. Kama ni wakahawa juni, uza. But find your money in a proper way. But the bottom line is that people work and work and work. Yes. They work hard for their richness. I understand that in Germany, every time with its duty, when it's time to work, you don't talk home. I love German culture because, for example, no one is perfect. Mm -hmm. When you do something wrong in the farm, the boss told, tells you, you have beer and here it's not good. You need to rectify on that and I'm not happy about it. When you go to home, to the house, everything, Manuna nyumba pia nakuja kwa nyumba tu. Maybe kama chakula ni tamu, wanasema ni tamu, haku kasiriki, haku furi. Mulimaliza ya shamba. Yes. Shamba imeishia shamba, ya nyumba inaishia tu kwa nyumba bado still. Na hakuna kuhold grudge. During working, 
during working mm -hmm. for example you are operating a machine that requires concentration mm. you don't talk to other person no no because you you may you may disrupt the concentration and something bad happen to the machine so if one is working, working working you just have to work and yes. then also one you have to work because you are paid for it yeah because uko you do you work faster mm -hmm. because you are paid per hour mm -hmm. so you need to work fast 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 akuna siju ku take break of 30 minutes sama one hour no mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just a break of 15 minutes 20 minutes kama ni mingi ko kazi tena kazi tena na tunasema watu wako lazy kumbe sisi ndio tuko lazy because we take too much time mm -hmm. idling, idling around and uh, yes busy boarding mm -hmm. yeah. i think because they are paying you per hour mm -hmm. and if you spend that hour badly yes you are going to to bring them a loss a loss That's because why. they have to pay you yes mm -hmm. wow religion 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 is not much in germany yes most of the of the people are mini mungu mm -hmm. i went to a family i was living with a family that i was doing my internship yes so re religion was not that them. much mm -hmm. but they believe in god yes going to church i can say i went two times mm -hmm. two times in church in how many months out of six months yes i went two times in church you were supposed to work to work yes on sunday Mm -hmm. was working throughout so religion is not much but they believe in god the family that i was in mm -hmm. they used they believe in god yes yes given uh, an opportunity to work mm -hmm. in germany kenya mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. which of the two i prefer in germany mm -hmm. because pesa in Eco. germany is is good because you I was doing my internship I was not paid but they say they will employ me after mm -hmm. I finish my school mm -hmm. so if you compare there in Germany they are paying you like 1500 pa per hour per hour hiyo pesa si sasa mimi kama soja nikipewa hiyo si nimelipa rent na nalala mwezi mzima kwa nyumba one hour one hour umshashiba pia ukimzima tu eh but they are paying you as a mess 1500 yes per hour If you work for 8 hours. 8 hours. Let's say 10 hours. 10 hours, yes. 150 it's it's 15, called mm -hmm. 15 euros. It's mm -hmm. euros in their money is in euros. Yes. So they pay you in euros. Mhm. Mm so if you one 1500 times 10. Uh, that is 15000 per day. Per day. Per month. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So the Yes. Do you have a secret friend that probably doesn't know you? But she doesn't know me. She doesn't know you. Mm -hmm. Tell her something. I know one of the days mm -hmm. she has to come uh, to see this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm very inspired about the lady. She's very humble and I got moved with her. And I hope one day I'll meet her. Mm -hmm. Because being a lady when I see a lady even driving a vehicle it moves me so much yes mm -hmm. so lady chief justice i just uh, i get motivated by most of your characters mm -hmm. yes because it it makes me to 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 think of, about the place of a woman in the society mm -hmm. when a country respects a woman yes the, that country is rich amazing yes mm. when you give a, a a girl child or a woman a place in the society yes the country is going far very far very far yes because women are the nurturers of life yeah they yes. give birth to life mm -hmm. they take care of life yes and given life in their hands means giving everything to the nation yes and that is the reason we celebrate you ross mm -hmm. even today Asante. i believe that uh, you going far mm -hmm. and uh, just as you are crash mm -hmm. the lady justice mm -hmm. uh, come oh, mata mm -hmm. i know you're going places mm -hmm. i wish you well mm -hmm. thank you uh, in your endeavors mm -hmm. praying that god uh, blesses you even more abundantly mm 
so that you can get to inspire many mm -hmm. uh, through your service. Rosemary, thank you so much for your time, for honoring our invitation. It is my greatest uh, joy to have you here. Last time when you were preparing to fly out, mm -hmm. I requested that you go and do the benchmarking on our behalf. Okay. And you've come, you've brought us the good news mm -hmm. that we've been waiting for. Yes. Thank you for encouraging the youths. Yes, Maybe you are parting short to the youth of this nation, I Kenya. Want to encourage the youths never to give up on their dreams, just trust in God, and to, to get more videos just to go to and subscribe Jenga TV Kenya mm -hmm. where they get more inspiration mm -hmm. and I think they get motivated here. Yeah. Visit us on uh, Jenga Kenya YouTube uh, channel uh, because this is the home for inspiration. First of all, I'm very grateful for my school. It's a college, not university. It made, me, it made me to travel to Europe. Europe is past Africa. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very far from Africa, from Kenya. Mm -hmm. I travel almost 12 hours, almost nine hours. Nine hours, okay. I travel nine hours. Mm -hmm. And it's a very small college. You may disrespect that small thing, but it can take you places. It can take you places. So never despise anything. Mm -hmm. I went to college. I did not go to university. So no, never give up on something or no, never disrespect anything. anything. Mm -hmm. Go through the process. Yes. Then um, your country, Kenya. My country, Kenya, is very amazing because the government even facilitated for transport. Mm -hmm. They paid for us transport to travel there it's not small money mm -hmm. yes so i'm very grateful for kwa serikali yetu kwa kutuprovidea whatever they provided for us i'm very grateful yes mm -hmm. you said you are what you are yes you are what you are and you are what you confess mm -hmm. is what you possess what you confess is what you possess. Mm -hmm. You are in that position in which you are today because you have decided to be Me. there. Yes. If you are uncomfortable, you move. You move. Isn't it? Yes. If you are hungry, you go look for food. Yes. If you are hungry and you sat down, no food will come by itself. So you need to look for it. Mm -hmm. We are what we are. Yes. Again, uh, dear viewers, kindly subscribe to Jenga Kenya TV, uh, like, comment. If you have already subscribed, uh, watch and just recommend to your fellow viewers. Let us make Kenya great. God bless Kenya, God bless Rosemary, and God bless uh, Jenga Kenya TV. Auf Weidensen. Ever heard of that one? Yes. Yes. Auf Wiedersehen. Yes. It's an official name of saying bye. Yeah, bye, bye. But you, friends, they say choose. Choose. Mm -hmm. So to our lovely viewers, Aud. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Okay. And to my family and friends. Choose. Choose. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.